Welcome to JSA TV and JSA Podcast, the newsroom for telecom and data center professionals. I'm Laura Nolan coming to you from beautiful Miami, Florida for Metro Connect USA 2022. Joining me now is Scott Willis, President and CEO of Dart Points. Welcome to JSA TV, Scott. Thank you, Laura. I appreciate uh, the opportunity. I appreciate you inviting me on your, uh, on your show here. Wonderful. So I'm sure many of our viewers know about Dart Points, but for our sake, can you just give us a summary of what Dart Points is about and what you do? Yeah, absolutely. So Dart Points, we are a uh, we are an edge data center provider. So we uh, we focus very much on delivering um, enterprise-based solutions um, into markets. What we coin as underserved, right? And our definition of of underserved is really smaller tier two, tier three, and tier four. And then we're also very focused on deploying new data center sites as we take advantage of, of really our industry's movement towards edge and delivering interconnect and peering solutions into markets that, again, we coin as, as being underserved. So we're, we're excited about the journey we're on and we're, uh, we're excited about where we sit in the market. Well, hot off the press is Scott. This morning, Dart Points just announced its new digital next strategy. I had to make sure I read it right because it is hot off the presses. Can you tell us a little bit more about that? Absolutely. So when we started out uh, on this journey, uh, when we first acquired Dart Points in um, in uh, in March of, of 2020, it was really a vision about um, understanding where the market was moving and um, and moving workloads and applications to the edge. And that's what, that's what Digital Next is all about. It's about delivering a suite of services. It's really built around co-location. It's built around uh, enterprise uh, hybrid IT cloud. And it's built around uh, interconnection services. And it's all built around delivering solutions to the market at the point of need or at the point of demand. And that's really what this suite of services is all about. We had a, we've had a vision when we uh, when we built out our data centers and we've been, when we've acquired our data centers, where we want to overlay edge capabilities, and that's what the digital next platform is all about. We're excited about it. It's um, it's something that uh, the market has continuously given us feedback, and we are we are just now in the early stages of delivering that into the market, and we're uh, we're excited about the future. Congratulations, and I'm sure we'll be hearing much more about that uh, since the news was just freshly released this morning, so we'll be talking about that for some time to come, I'm sure. Absolutely. And, and Dark Points also recently launched its uh, internet exchange, first internet exchange in South Carolina. So if you could, Scott, tell us more about what that means for the areas in South Carolina and maybe plans for other IXs. Yeah, we're, we're excited about this. This is our first deployment of our initial IX. We've got two more that are, that are, um, that are underway, so you'll, you'll be hearing more about that very soon as, as we get those deployed into the market. Um, listen, uh, today, if you think about South Carolina, they are absolutely 100% importer and exporter of digital infrastructure, right? And what that, what that simply means is anytime there's a button pushed, right, or a keyboard clicked, or, or whatever triggers a digital command, right? That is pushed out of the state of South Carolina to be processed and it's delivered back into the state of South Carolina to be executed. And we're gonna eliminate that, right? So it's not a capability that doesn't exist in South Carolina today, but what we wanna do is we wanna enable it locally and we wanna create capabilities, platforms and solutions for consumers in the state of South Carolina um, enterprise businesses in the state of South Carolina and government agencies in the state of South Carolina. And we want to localize that data, maintain that data in the borders of, of, of the state of South Carolina and, and bring high performing interconnect solutions at a cost effective rate for the state of South Carolina. And that's the same type of opportunity we want to bring into other states that are in a similar position. So we're, we're excited about it. If, if you think about uh, where, where the industry is, and where edge workloads are eventually going to, to take place at a very local level, delivering interconnect and peering capability is an important step in, in realizing the capability and delivering that into the market. So we're, uh, again, once again, it's part of what we're excited about and it's part of our portfolio. And Dark Point's having a huge impact on, on changing the landscape for that area and then other areas as you continue to grow, grow that initiative. It does. So the Dark Points press release this morning says the company is, quote, building tomorrow's distributed digital infrastructure while serving today's cloud and co-location needs. So can you explain, I guess, more about the unique position that Dark Points has in the marketplace based so, on that? Absolutely. So this, this is what, what, what we think about when we're, when we're talking about today's needs 
with tomorrow's view in mind is we want to deliver um, compelling solutions, right, that meet the needs of, of enterprise today, right? We also want to anticipate, right, what, where the industry is evolving, how workloads are going to evolve, and how, how much further they're going to be pushed out to the edge. And so we're building capabilities, we're building solutions that has that set in mind. And that's what Digital Next is all about. We can deliver and meet the needs of the enterprise today, but we're also future-proofing where we believe the, inter the, the industry is going to go in the future, and we want to enable the enterprise to take advantage of that in a very seamless way. So that, again, is, is, is at the basis of what Digital Next is, is all about. Well, we've watched dart points grow tremendously the past two years under your, your leadership um, with acquisitions and key strategic moves. Can you tell us what's coming up for 2022? Yeah, I mean, to, to, to the degree that I can. Listen, this has been an exciting journey over the last couple of years. I'm, I'm excited about the space we're in. I think we're in a great sector inside the industry in terms of, of not only the data center space, but where we sit as, as we're trying to take advantage of, 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 of this emerging space into, into edge. Um, and, that's, um, and that's something that we're, we're very focused on. And so when I kind of think about the journey, right, we've... Uh, in the last uh, 22 months or so, right, we've had three acquisitions. We're excited about that. It's given us a, a position in, into the market. Um, and, uh, and the way that we really think about growth as, we, as, we're, as, we're, as we're looking at um, dart points is we've really done some pretty deep analytical modeling. And, um, and we've really looked at, at where is need, not only today, but where is it going to be in the future, yep. right? And that's churned out about 212 markets that we've identified where we feel there's going to be near-term need for edge capabilities. And so um, that's, that's how we think about our go-to-market strategy, whether we build a data center or we look at a, at a potential acquisition candidate. It's all about delivering that capability into those underserved markets, and so we're uh, we're excited about uh, what the last um, what the last couple of years has 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 been for Dart Points, and uh, and we're equally as bullish about the future, and uh, and we think the growth and, and investment will only continue. And I'm sure a lot of those topics came up here at Metro Connect as you're working with your industry colleagues here, talking about some industry trends now. What are the large enterprises that that you work with or will be working with? need more of and, and then how do you meet that demand so you know listen we're, we're still very much in in an emerging space within within edge right and so that's very consistent with how I've commented in the past right we are focused on meeting today's needs of the enterprise and and delivering solutions that are compelling and impactful to their business today, right? But we also want to be a provider that thinks about the future and understands how will workload shift, right? How will enterprise demand shift out in further into the edge? And, and um, if you understand that or anticipate that, we can position dart points to take advantage of that to where we can provide those solutions to the enterprise. And that's really what our approach is. It's, it's a mindset of meeting today's needs with a, with a commitment to understand the future and delivering those, those, those services um, when, whenever that future evolves and gets here. And that's what we want to be a part of. Well said, well said. So where can our viewers go to follow all the developments, read more about the latest news that we talked about and the latest uh, internet exchange as well that was uh, was recent. Where can our viewers go to learn more all about dart points and more? Yeah, uh, listen, there, there's a number of different avenues, but but the, the easiest way to really learn about dart points is dartpoints.com. Hit our website. We're committed to, to keeping that as one of our main sales engines. We keep it updated. Um, and of course, there's there's certainly access from there to reach into dart points and have any type of conversation that you might want to have. But uh, yeah, we're, uh, we're, we're easy to find. Yeah. Uh, we want to provide the information and, and that's the best place to start. All right, you heard it right here, dartpoints.com. All right, thanks for joining us here on JSA TV. Thank you, Laura, I appreciate it. And thank you viewers for joining us here on JSA TV and JSA Podcast. Happy networking. <laughs>